10 people were killed, 13 wounded at this school. Investigators are still working to establish a clear motive, but they believe the gunman acted alone. Meanwhile, this community is coming together, refusing to postpone a much-anticipated playoff game in the wake of the tragedy. In Texas, a display of defiance. This is what it's supposed to be about. This is about humanity and loving one another. Santa Fe High's baseball team in a powerful playoff game, honoring the eight students and two teachers who were gunned down. Star pitcher Rome Schubert was shot in the head and survived. The doctor said that if it would have been any up, any down, any left, any right, that I would have been paralyzed or killed. Um, probably about the luckiest guy alive right now. Among the dead, 17-year-old Chris Stone, who was on the football team. His teammates are devastated. He's just that guy that always brightens up the room with a smile. Today, a funeral is scheduled for Sabika Sheik, an exchange student from Pakistan. The community also mourning the loss of Shayna Fisher, Angelique Ramirez, and Kimberly Vaughn. Teacher Cynthia Tisdale leaves behind eight grandchildren. Family says she'd gone back to work after her husband was diagnosed with cancer. Officer John Barnes is in critical but stable condition after confronting the gunman. The men in blue, that's why they take that oath, you know, to protect and serve, and he was certainly doing that. Authorities say Demetrius Pagorchi surrendered and confessed to the deadly shooting. He's now being held without bail, charged with capital murder. I've met with him twice. I, I can't tell you why this happened at this point. I don't, I don't think if you gave me unlimited time with him that I would know the answer at this point. Police say the 17-year-old wore a trench coat, carried a shotgun and a revolver, and told investigators he did not shoot students he did like so he could have his story told. I hope he sits there and rots in prison for the rest of his life. Houston Texans star J.J. Watt has now offered to pay for the victim's funerals, the first of which is scheduled for later today. And Texas Governor Greg Abbott says he'll hold a series of roundtable discussions later this week to discuss how best to protect students in schools. Willie. Gabe Gutierrez on another bleak morning, this one in Santa Fe, Texas. Gabe, thanks so much. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.